हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ बिल्डिंग ए स्पेक्ट्रम अनालाइजर और विजुअलाइजेशन टूल यूजिंग पाइथॉन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ द वेरियस पैकेजेस एंड लाइब्रेरीज वी नीडेड फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी ऑल्सो सॉ हाउ टू इम्पोर्ट दम हाउ टू गेट द डेटा फ्रॉम द माइक्रोफोन कन्वर्ट इट टू इंटीजर्स एंड देन प्लाट इट इन रियल टाइम इन टाइम डोमेन यूजिंग द लाइब्रेरी माई प्लॉट लेब एंड इन दिस वीडियो we will see how to compute the fast fourier transform or in short the fft of the signal from the microphone and then plot it in the frequency domain we will be modifying the code we used in the part 1 so if you did not watch the part 1 i would recommend you to go and watch it first and then come back and watch this video so again at any point if you miss something or you need the complete code you can visit my website A link to that page will be given in the description. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, here on the left-hand side, I have the code we used in the previous tutorial. and on the right hand side we have the code we will be using in this tutorial so the changes that has to be made is only in this part of the code so change this line figure comma ax ax is the axis equals plt dot subplots to plt dot subplots and pass the integer parameter as 2 so what this does is it creates two subplots in a single figure and you have to pass two axes in the form of a tuple next define the x axis for the frequency domain use np.lin space to generate the x axis starting from 0 up till rate with chunk number of divisions then define a new line line underscore fft comma equals ax1 dot semi log x we are using the semi log x because the frequency domain is usually represented on the semi log scale and not on a linear scale then pass on the parameters x underscore f50 the x axis np dot random dot rand which produces a chunk number of objects and then we need to set the y limits ax1 dot set underscore ylm 0 to 1 i'll tell you why we have used the range from 0 to 1 and also we need to set the range of the new frequency domain representation that will be from 20 hertz to a rate divided by 2 our rate is 44 100 so rate by 2 will be 22 50 and then in the while loop after we get the data from the microphone convert it to integers we pass it on to another line object line f50 that is for the second plot the frequency domain plot line underscore f50 dot set y data pass on the parameters np dot abs abs stands for absolute value with np dot f50 dot f50 Now the problem is the F50 algorithm returns both the real values as well as the complex values. So we plot only the absolute value. So to do that, we use the function np.aps, and then multiply it by two and divide it by thirty-three thousand times the chunk. So this part is what is responsible for the output to range from zero to one. So we have set the limit from zero to one. and then figure dot canvas dot draw and figure dot canvas dot flush underscore events as we used in the previous code now when you run this code you should be able to see a new window pop up showing the time domain as well as the frequency domain representation of your audio signal so that's how you do it that's how you build your audio spectrum analyzer so i was able to get around uh, 25 to 35 fps with uh, a minimal lag as you can see 
there is a slightly dissynchronization between my audio and the video spectrum. So this is how you build your real-time spectrum analyzer. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give it a like. And yeah, thanks for watching.